Hello, my name is Paul Ginet from ZAV Sales Department. And today I'm going to share with you a presentation about the main applications and teleprotection over IP interface. First of all, I would like to introduce uh, ZAV. ZAV is a Spanish-based company that designs, manufactures, and provides solutions for the challenges of the current electrical systems with knowledge in four key areas, protection, control, communications, and metering. Today's presentation is going to be focused on the communications area, especially on the teleprotection um, units. The presentation is structured in three sections. The first one is the applications of the teleprotections. Then I will follow up with the new market trends which is the teleprotection over IP interface. And finally, I will highlight the main points to be considered to develop the new teleprotection over IP packet networks interface. Uh, ZTV teleprotection that is called uh, TPU, uh, it's a universal teleprotection that has a modular design that uh, makes it possible to, to be used in different applications in any available communications media. If we have a look to the first applications, which is mixed protection interfaces. In this example, we can see a teleprotection Then that it has a IC61A50 protection interface and simultaneously an analog protection interface. This is very useful in case of uh, migration of uh, protection relays to 6150 standard. It will make, uh, it will help to have a smooth migration. In that case, we have a, te a teleprotection link where in one substation we have a non-6150 protection um, compatible protection and, the, and on the other, at the other side, we have a mixed protection interface. Okay, and this is the, the first application. The second application is main and backup channel in the same device. So in this example, uh, the teleprotection is equipped with two communication interfaces. One is the main channel and the other one is the backup channel or main one, main two. So it's, the teleprotection is able to provide redundancy in terms of communication interface. Another example of redundancy is this one. Here we have as a main channel a digital one and as an analog channel we sorry as a backup channel we have an analog one which is sending commands through a power line carrier. This configuration is very common for strategic lines or very high voltage lines because it's very well known the reliability of power line carrier systems over the specific um, conditions. The next example is two independent teleprotection terminals in a single shelf. Here in the substation in the middle, we can see that there is one TPU device equipped with two communication interfaces. In that case, this device is acting as a two independent teleprotection units. is a very cost-effective solution because in the substation in the middle, you only use one teleprotection device instead of two, and you are able to communicate to the substation to the left and to the substation to the right. In this particular case, it's also possible to equip the teleprotection unit with a redundant power supply. The next example is similar to the first one, but we are using one of the outstanding features of the teleprotection, that is the possibility of doing transits. In this example, the substation in the middle, substation C, the teleprotection is equipped with two communication interfaces that allows the teleprotection to receive uh, commands from substation E and transit it towards 
substation B. So we can link substation A to substation B, transiting through substation C. At the same time, substation C can also operate with substation A as, and also from C to substation B. As I said, this is a specific of it's very common for a T-line configurations where we face these this kind of problems. Okay. Another example of teleprotection of commands, of transit of teleprotection commands, is this one where we have different transits from one substation, substation A to substation to sub, substation E, where the signals will be transiting to different teleprotections until they reach the destination. And in this particular case, as we have a ring configuration and improving the security and reliability of the system, the commands are also sent through the other direction, through the south. Okay. So these are the, the main applications of the teleprotection. And now I'm going to uh, talk about a new market trend of teleprotection over IP packet networks. So it's another application, but in that case, the line interface is an IP packet interface. It's uh, what we call a new driver in the teleprotection market. Many utilities uh, are using it uh, with an IP network or mm, IP network um, supporting MPLS. Uh, but if we have a look at the motivation of, of this, um, we, we have to consider that the technology of the communications network is evolving towards packet switching solutions. The telecom providers, the service providers, are the ones that have been leading this change. And now the power utilities are following this trend and they are developing this or have already developed this this um, this migration, and this will, of obviously, bring new challenge to the this change. And one of the challenges is um, how to migrate these teleprotection signals uh, from uh, uh, existing TDM infrastructure, can be PDH, SDH, or Sonnet, to an IP packet-based uh, backbone. And why? Uh, the answer is because the teleprotection is one of the most stringent application that can be transported over the utility network because uh, it requires very low delay and high impact of, uh, of and has a, hand, a high impact of failure. Therefore, that's the main challenge that uh, the power utilities are facing and also the teleprotection manufacturers. In order to cope with this challenge, ZAV has uh, developed a new IP LAN in interface called IPIT that is able to adapt to these new requirements and can handle up to eight commands in packet mode. That's the, 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 the new challenge uh, over uh, IP networks. And we have seen an increase of demand in terms of as customers and also in terms of sales. This is a market evolution, the source is ZTV, and you can see the, that the demand is clearly increasing, and uh, especially from the last two years. And um, as a conclusion, uh, I would like to say that uh, in order to implement or to to uh, transfer teleprotection over IP networks, an innovative solution is required. New challenge will appear, and it requires also a proven solution. And in ZTV, we have done uh, many proof of concepts with different utilities, and we currently have more than 500 references of this IP interface worldwide. And um, just to finalize saying that uh, ZDB has been providing communication solutions since 1967. Okay, 
And, and that's all for today's presentation. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us through our website, or you can email me. You have my email details in this slide. And that's it. Thank you for your attention. Bye-bye.